worst road we've been on, huh? <laughs> no. It's uh, it's pretty rough. High clearance recommended. Uh, it's funny if you if you come out here trying to use Google Maps, it only tells you can come out here by bicycle. <laughs> And actually, uh, we passed some guys on bicycles. I uh, haven't seen a single other vehicle. If there is a trailer to find its way in there, it's probably going to be yeah. <laughs> what you've got going here. So Awesome. awesome. Good Thanks, luck, guys. Thank you. Have a good one. We we're hoping to see some snow up here, but uh, this road is actually fairly low. I think it only tops out at like 1,400 feet. It's supposed to cool down again tonight, but I don't think we're supposed to really get much... Uh, precip yeah hopefully find a beautiful spot here soon Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're excited to be out exploring a new Forest Service road today, looking for some new boondocking spots. We think we found one right behind us. Uh, it's a little sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Couple ways to get down in there, but uh, we shouldn't have any issues. Excited to get out in winter again here. No snow, we're a little bit low, but it's nice to see some of these uh, forest roads with open gates so yes, we can actually explore <laughs> new area for us baker snoqualmie national forest outside of north bend really easy drive mm -hmm. uh this road does get rough and actually google maps doesn't even have it really cool quiet not many people out so fingers crossed wish us luck we can actually get down into the spot here behind us and we'll uh set up camp and uh, get the weekend started let's do it back a little bit more okay and then uh yeah that should bring the front down a little bit okay <laughs> We're really happy with this camp spot. It's a great little find. We're well off the road, very secluded. We were kind of missing getting back out into the woods. The last few times we've been camping, we were at state parks, which is great because you have a guaranteed spot. And out here in the Northwest, the roads are typically closed where if there's too much snow, you can't access some of the spots that you might know about. Um, so this was kind of a crapshoot coming out on this road we've never been on, hoping there was gonna be camp spots and we got really lucky. So we're super excited.
All right, we are for the first time trying out our pop-up fire pit. We got this a while back, haven't used it yet. We usually just burn wood in an established fire pit or use our, our gas fire pit. Uh, but there's already a fire pit off to the side over here. We don't want to dig a new one and screw up this whole area. So we're just going to use this guy and uh, see how it works. Not sure how, how much better or worse the heat's going to be. And also with the ventilation from underneath, if it's going to burn a lot faster. So here we go. So this comes with a uh, ground pad to keep the area below. We really haven't used it. Keep the ground below uh, safe, not too hot, I guess. It probably will reflect too, right? Yeah, it may reflect some heat as well. We got two fires this time, you guys. <laughs> <clears throat> of course I uh, threw away the directions as soon as we got it but I just can't remember if these go under the bottom or the bottom goes over these we're gonna try it this way that makes more sense so that these don't get too burned That was easy. That's Velcro for the corners. Who needs that? Uh, so. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's get a fire going. Uh, well, we got the fire started. So far, so good. The cool thing about this uh, is the heat's a lot higher if you're sitting down. It's kind of like your kid sitting in front of the fireplace. But uh, yeah, we'll check in later. It's hailing now on us, so we're gonna put the canopy up super fast. Um, yeah, okay, I gotta go help. Okay, you guys, we got the canopy up <laughs> just in time. We put it over the camper. I'm gonna get out here in the weather real fast so I can show you. Um, yeah, so it's hailing or I don't know, whatever this is called. We thought we were gonna avoid the weather this weekend, I guess not. And we've actually never set this up over the galley. This is nice. We've only had our uh, slumberjack tarp over the rear. Yeah. And we were just realizing bringing this uh, portable campfire is amazing because we can just drag this oh gosh, yeah. over to where we had to move. So this is perfect. We don't have to set this up around a fire pit. We just move our fire pit. Didn't even think of that. Hopefully the wind stays going that way. Yeah. Well, it's blown every which way except back towards us, towards the camper. So hopefully we'll be okay there. Just like that, we moved our campfire. <laughs> Practically our whole camp. So far, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. Figure out the bottom. It has little straps so you can strap it to the legs and it makes it even easier to move it around. We'll see how the rest of the night goes, but I mean, we might be using this more and more. Just the convenience to be able to move. Your fire. Fully lit fire. <laughs> Scramble mode, move your fire. Uh, and it's, it's hot, <laughs> it's warm. It's doing, it's not burning too fast. Uh, the smoke, I mean, there's still smoke. I don't know if it's better or worse than a normal fire as long as you're tending it, but you could probably cook over this too. I bet somebody makes 
a grill or a grate that goes on top when the coals get uh, nice and flat. So, oh man, if you need to warm anything up at all though, right there, baby. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day. We're all packed up and ready to head out. Now Matt's next challenge is to see if we can get up and out of this campsite. So here we go. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you aren't already, and we'll see you in our next video. Another beautiful weekend. It seems to be our trend lately. We get uh, the bad weather with the good. But yeah, just be prepared, stick it out. At some point it's gonna get better. Man, what a beautiful morning. Frosty, 27 degrees. And uh, we're gonna get back early. Still be able to watch some football. Yeah! <laughs> Just getting into some light reading this evening. This is the uh, field guide to dumb birds in North America. We're just going to start with section three tips for watching birds. Whether you're new to watching birds or you've managed to suffer through it for years, here are a few things I've found that help to make birding suck a little less. <laughs> Number one, get some binoculars. <laughs> This one is obvious. Without binoculars, you're just some loser sitting in the bushes. <laughs> Number two, invest in a decent thermos and stay comfortable. Okay, you've got your binoculars and your thermos of hot coffee. You're ready for a morning of bird watching, right? No, let's be honest. This shit is boring as hell. <laughs> you might as well put some booze in that thermos. Whether you're going to be sitting outdoors for hours on end or just staring out your kitchen window, it helps to be a little drunk. <laughs> uh, number three, carry a notebook. You might want to record your bird sightings and make notes on what you observe for later, like which bird <laughs> on your patio furniture. <laughs> because one day there will be a reckoning. Mark my words. <laughs> <laughs> this bastard is a medium-sized member of the woodpecker <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's too> <laughs> 